Hi, I'm Raj from um, God's Way of Love communications team and I'm here at Kyabra with uh, Dennis Langmead who's um, assisting in the activities here for the tree planting. So do you want to just give us an overview of uh, like your role here and what, what's actually happening? I'm really assisting the, the team leaders where they, where they need it. The, initially there was um, a lot of people who weren't sure what to do and, and now that is flowing fairly well. I just really dived into my passion and I'm planting as well so it's just <laughs> awesome yeah, I just love it. So most of the people I believe have not actually planted trees before. No no many, many of them haven't no they and and to be honest some of the ones that have come have been quite um, quite worried about planting they, they've been in a in a in, in, in a lot of fear about it not doing it right you know and all these sort of things and, and now they you know they're just just putting love into the ground as well rather than worrying about the task they're just loving the ground and, right. and, and what they're doing uh, yeah I've noticed it on a, on a few a few of the plants of today that uh, yeah their attitude is a lot different today and, and, and each day they're just growing in love for what they're doing mm -hmm. yeah it is there I watch the trucks coming back with everybody on them and it's like it's a big party <laughs> coming back it's not it's even a, a party that they're going to no that's it yeah, yeah. but yeah they're so full of joy eh? yeah. it's just really good oh big smiles yeah that's it even yeah. the tiredness doesn't seem to be apparent no no and and that's another thing I think uh, a lot of a lot of it is that if you're in in a in a, in a desire or passion and, and really love doing what you're doing you don't you don't feel that right. because it's such a joy to do and and giving back to the land is a joy mm. ready to go we've got sandra here what would you like to share with us today sandra i would just really like to express my gratitude for the opportunity to be here and give back what's been taken it's taken two days of planting and only on the third day i actually got really started understanding what it's like to plant a tree and all this time i've been desiring to plant trees but it's a desire that's not actually you know, when the action is actually when you're at the spot doing it, where are you then? Like, what is going on for you to not even feel about the tree? You know, and that's a big realization for me. So it's quite humbling to um, finally get it. When I'm in these surroundings and doing things, it's so easy to forget that God's there the whole time. And mm. you can use every opportunity like that to grow towards God rather than just be a part. Like, I often find that if I'm by myself, I can connect to God. But what happens when I'm doing work or you know talking to other people and that's something that's really yeah if we could bring up God connection into all of our passions and desires and into our work I think everyone will love their job you know Definitely, I have a really large passion for the environment and yeah for some time I've really wanted to understand how can we um, how can we live in harmony with the earth like, like how can how can we uh, receive without taking kind of feeling yeah. so yeah that's been like a feeling of mine for a long time so yeah, yeah. and so, now I get to put it into practice out here which yeah. is just so wonderful absolutely so, so what's your particular role this uh, this week yeah at the Oktoberfest yeah. my role is um, I'm a supply team uh, member yeah. and so we work in three three groups of um, two yeah. and uh, my partner's Peter and so what we've been doing is driving around on uh, the quad bike stuff over there yeah. um, with the trailers on the back and we service two of the planting teams right. and so our job is to make sure they have everything they need so they can just keep on digging, right. putting the plants in the ground, watering them and mulching them. So I, I'm doing the hole a bit lower so I level up the top. <laughs> Basically, it's ready for planting. <laughs> I have no tree. <laughs> I'm just making hole. Yeah. First, planting tree is a passion, I think, but it's uh, small and I need to practice to feel it. And this week, I can feel really I like it. I love it to plant. I love to nurture li this little one. And I, I try to give a lot of love to the nun. So, got uh, three young ladies. Got Bronte, Kate and... Holly. Kate and Holly. Okay. And uh, how are you? How are you finding your planting today? Good. Good. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, I like digging the best. Yeah. I like making the holes. Afterwards, you sort of feel good that you've made, sort of made a difference. So, would you like to come back here in a few years and see what's happened? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. See how big they are. Yeah. And see the ones that I planted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
said, this is my tree. Yeah, Kate did this. Yeah. <laughs> Kate's tree. Yeah. Also the dancing after mm. the day is really fun. Yeah, yeah. that's really fun. Yeah. Dancing to the music and copying the little kids. Yeah. Limbo was fun. Yeah, the little kids just walked down the road. Yeah. And, was really and the adults yeah, were just like going up, like, back oh, and forth. They were finding more fun. They were having more I fun. Need, I could only go under like one. I only went under once or twice. Yeah, I yeah. went down yeah. twice and then they put it away. So, have you been involved in the tree planting? Yes. Did you enjoy that? I absolutely love that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Doug and I have really loved that and the kids have um, enjoyed it in different ways and come in and out of the yeah. planting, but we've really loved that. Can you describe what it was like out there? <laughs> it was very busy. <laughs> I mean, how, many, um, how many trees did you put in yesterday? Oh, pa apparently 1,300. 1,300 Evan. trees, that's just yeah. amazing. That is amazing, isn't that it? Is amazing. How many people were up there doing that? Well, I think there must be about 60 that are actually doing the planting. Right. Because um, there are the supply teams and there's lots of people that are sort of helping organise right. um, around people, that's us. 60 people, that's still a lot of trees it's per person. Lot. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's a. It's been a very beautiful experience. It's oh, been really very emotional as well. It's just lovely to um, be given um, the time to plant. We don't have to rush with mm -hmm. the planting. We're supposed to be planting with love and care, and we are all doing that. And um, we've got team leaders who are there giving us information when we need it, teaching us with patience and love mm. again mm -hmm. um, helping us learn how to do things and then we're also encouraged to um, make contact with our guides and feel what feels right for the plant or right for where to dig a hole for a plant oh, that's that beautiful sort of so it, it's yeah it's really lovely yeah that's that's great so it's not so much about the actual number of plants that you can get in the ground in the course of a day it's how you do it it's much and, more and, about how and we the do energy it. and the and the emotion behind putting them in yeah yeah, I, I found that um, today, for instance, um, as far as I was aware, I was um, in contact with my um, celestial guides for a lot of the time. Yeah. And so there were periods where um, I just asked my guide, where to next? And then um, I'd get a feeling, go to this person, and so I'd just go there, yeah. and um, either it was a supply issue, it might have been an emotional thing, like yeah. something I just felt to say to them, or something they said to me, and oh, it triggered an emotion inside of me. Yeah. and. Um, yeah, a lot of the times with the actual process of supplying things, um, just by people being in their desires, yeah. at the right second things just keep seem to turn up, yeah. <laughs> which has been really great. Yeah. 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 And Walking in the paddock this morning, it was such a really um, joyous experience for me, planting the seeds. I um, certainly had quite a number of tears around the... Um, I think it's the exquisite beauty of the whole process. Um, and thinking of the birth and, it, and there seemed to be a symbolism there around the birth of the seed but also the birth of God's way of love here on this property um, and the birth of all of those who have come to share this week with us um, and have put so much of their own heart and soul and love into that land that was quite seriously um, affected from well quite some hundreds of years of um, malpractice so mm -hmm. we can really feel the difference when we walk up in there now and um, I'm sure that's going to grow as the seeds grow and all of our love grows and yes well I'm really thrilled because I was uh, Mary invited me and Yeshua invited me to teach yoga in the mornings and and that that is my passion and I haven't really been in a situation to be able to to share yoga with other people since I left my studio in Brisbane back in January. But what I'm finding is because divine love people are so interested in feeling everything, it's just a real treat. It's, it's like we can go to an advanced level straight away. I've really enjoyed the practice and um, it definitely helps people to start off a day from um, a, a different state um, before they go out and plant. I've just bumped into Sarah here who's also a part of the events team and Sarah I was just wondering what your role here in the events team is at Kyobra. Yep, I, what, the way I see my role is um, I'm mostly supporting Joy who's the team leader 
Are you enjoying the role? Yeah, yeah, I am. It's it's an opportunity to learn so much about about yourself, um, about God, about love, about truth. It was beautiful working as a team and seeing that working well, because yeah, in life in general, teams don't generally work so well because there's so many conflicts. But here people would be more willing to to see the conflict and to work through it and have it pointed out you know what's being loving and what isn't um, as a sort of leader um, it's quite a few decisions to be made about different species of trees and um, a lot of people haven't actually planted trees ever before until this project you know or very very little so um, if, if I'm not feeling myself, I start getting lots of questions and it gets quite confusing at times and that's, you know, so yeah. Uh, the team we've got now is pretty good. We did have some pretty angry people a few days back and that was fairly challenging and had to speak speak a bit of truth to some people. But um, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a journey. It really is a journey, you know, the, the feeling side of things and um, trying to stay connected to what you're doing and loving everybody and loving the land and you know trying to be aware i at the moment i'm uh, muddling through i've got a little a little story about that just that i noticed today and that's um one of the team leaders um they're planting a eucalyptus forest and i went down this morning i was like how are you guys going because the team looked like they're really working really well together and they're like we're just so excited to be planting a eucalyptus forest and i was like yeah, I can see why your team's working so well, hey? Yeah. And they've had a real, like, the first couple of days, there were like a whole load of stuff going on and yeah. a lot of things that were sort of blocking them. But the two of them are just so, like, they're just loving it. So just yeah. two, the, yeah. the team leaders just simply by being excited, just yeah. dragging everyone along. And before they know it, they're getting excited, not too yeah. sure why they're excited, <laughs> but this has got to be good. And it, and it feels good. And there is a lot of low attraction things and everybody is very open to it and not judging when you are going to your stuff. So it's a bit a bit easier to to go into it and, and to feel your emotions and not being judged. Uh, and it's a good learning, you know, make errors something. It's very difficult yeah. for me to yeah. make errors. And yeah. here it's like uh, we are all making errors and that's all fine and we are learning and that's very good to feel that. I never felt that in all my life that I could do. So it was seed planting today, wasn't it? Yeah. What have you been doing today? Today's been feeling a lot, actually. Yeah. You know, it's the whole plant, putting the seed in the ground and feeling it and feeling your emotions and... Loving it. Loving it, yeah. Just giving something back to this seed without any expectation of it to do anything. It's been amazing. And it's not task orientated today. No. Yeah. It was really nice. Yeah. yeah. As soon as we had a desire to bring wildlife back in and a desire to bring the birds back in mm. and the echidnas and the platypus and all those little guys, um, it's like, okay, that's a beautiful concept. But if we actually want all these wildlife and birds back in it, we've actually got to provide the food source yeah. and the environment yes, for them. And that's really what Oktoberfest is about. Yeah. Providing these trees and shrubs and flowers that they need. Um, and it's not just for the birds, it's not like just for, for insects. And I have, well, like we feel like a, the more you plant, then the more insects, the more, well, the more food there is for everyone, then there's the more birds. And we're already getting like whole different species of birds that we've never had here before. Yeah. All these little creatures are coming and, and it's, a, it's a great birth. And we're seeing more birds coming. Every week we see new species of birds. I saw two this morning that we hadn't seen before and Yeshua had said this would happen and, and, and so we're really looking forward to a lot more of the animals coming back that were here like Tikakala, the, the uh, indigenous Australian talks about that were here 300 years ago when he roamed across this country mm -hmm. and so that will be hugely exciting and uh, so it's, it's really going ahead in a beautiful, wonderful way. <laughs> all you need is love. Love. All you need is love. As Yeshua is putting his input into all of this, how do you feel he's working with the people here? Um, my feeling about Yeshua is he's just, is that he's got this huge desire to be, to serve, mm. and to serve all of us while, while we're doing our best to serve this land and serve the people here as well and just the feeling that I've got from him over this week is that he's just 
he's got such a passionate desire and he's he's so humble about it like he's not doing it to sacrifice himself he's, I guess I've just just by watching how how humble and how loving he is all the time I've just realized so much about myself especially and it's been like growing a desire to know myself more fully I want to change mm. yeah I want to I do, I want to change. It's been a really, really, just so grateful to mm -hmm. everyone, but I really want to um, honour, love and adore Yeshua and Mary because without them, none of this would have happened. None of us would have understood mm -hmm. and we'd still be floundering in the dark and ignorance. So, not to say we're not at times still. I was coming back in the tractor last night and... Um, just, I was, it was quite late, and there's this one guy, don't even know what his name is, <laughs> and he's just walking down the hill, and he didn't even really, he would have heard me, but didn't see me, and he just suddenly stopped, and there was this biscuit of hay beside the road, just one little biscuit of hay that had been left behind, and he grabbed this biscuit of hay, and took it over to this tree, and then just started mulching this tree, <laughs> and he's been doing that since nine o'clock that morning, <laughs> and you think, yeah, he didn't have to do that, that was pure love, Pure, like, actually, I just want to do this because yeah. that's going to be good for that tree. Yeah. And, yeah, I think that sums up the week for me. Yeah. yeah.